if you're going to copy Elon Musk's homework, you apparently have to copy the explosions too. China's land space just tried to land their shiny new reusable rocket, the Zhuke-3, and let's just say it stuck the landing. Specifically, it stuck at about six feet under the concrete. It was a historic flight, a massive technological leap, and a spectacular fireball all rolled into one. Welcome to the new space race, where the rockets are reusable, but the landing pads are apparently single-use. On December 3rd, 2025, China's private aerospace firm Landspace launched UK-3, their first reusable orbital rocket. The mission, get to space, drop off a payload, then guide the first stage booster back to Earth for a vertical landing. The same idea pioneered by SpaceX years ago. The second stage succeeded in putting the payload into low Earth orbit, but the return to Earth Alive plan for the booster didn't go as planned. During the landing burn, the first stage caught fire and exploded before touching down. Despite the fail, the mission marks China's boldest attempt at reusable rocketry yet, and positions land space as a serious challenger to legacy rocket powers. Now, why should you care about another rocket crash? Because this thing is an engineering Frankenstein that actually scares the competition. Innovation number one, it's the stainless steel Falcon. The Zhuke 3 is weird. It looks like a Falcon 9, flies like a Falcon 9, but it's made of stainless steel, just like Elon Starship. It's heavy, it's shiny, and it's cheap. Land space is basically betting they can build a Starship-style hull, but fly it with Falcon 9-style flight profiles. It's a bold strategy. Let's see if it pays off. Innovation number two, the Methane Flex. Remember, land space actually beat everyone including SpaceX, to orbit with a methane rocket back with a UK-2. Methane is the holy grail of fuels. It burns clean, so no to clogging your engines, and you can technically make it on Mars. While Blue Origin and SpaceX were arguing on Twitter, Land Space was quietly winning the Methalox race. The drama. Elon Musk saw this launch coming and dropped a classic backhanded compliment on X. He admitted they've copied the Starship materials and Falcon aerodynamics, saying it could eventually be better than a Falcon 9. But then he twisted the knife, predicting it'll take them five years to match SpaceX's reliability, by which time Starship will be lifting 100 times a payload. Basically, nice rocket kid, be a shame if someone made it obsolete. Let's talk about the crash. The official statement says debris landed at the edge of the recovery area. That is a fantastic euphemism. That's like saying the Titanic had a moisture anomaly near the edge of the Atlantic. Landing a rocket is essentially trying to balance a pencil on your finger while falling off the Empire State Building in a hurricane. You have to kill hypersonic velocity, navigate through the atmosphere backwards, and hit a concrete circle the size of a helipad. The Zhuke 3 engine ignited for the landing burn, but something glitched. Maybe a sensor failed, Maybe the guidance software panicked, or maybe the rocket just saw the price of real estate in Beijing and decided to end it all. It's a reminder that gravity is the strictest auditor in the universe. You can have billions of dollars in funding, state-of-the-art grid fins, and the hopes of a nation on your back, but if your math is off by a decimal point, physics will just smash you into the desert floor and laugh. So what does this mean for the new space race? This proves the Chinese commercial sector is moving fast. They aren't just copying, they're iterating. Sure, they crashed this one. But remember, SpaceX crashed a dozen boosters before they started sticking landings like boring routine delivery trucks. If land space figures this out in two years instead of five, the monopoly on cheap access to space is over. Suddenly, you have a Coke versus Pepsi situation for orbital delivery. That drops prices for everyone. However, there's the existential question. Is this just a race to see who can clutter low Earth orbit the fastest? We're building reusable rockets to launch thousands of satellites so we can watch TikToks in 4K from the middle of the ocean. We are turning the night sky into a traffic jam of mega constellations. And now we have two superpowers competing to see who can do it cheaper. Space is getting crowded, folks. And apparently, the ground is getting a little dented too. In the end, a crash is just data with a bang at the end. Land space will sweep up the pieces, read the black box, and try again, because that's what humans do. We are a species that looks at the infinite, deadly void of space and says, 
I bet I can park a skyscraper there. The Zhuge 3 explosion is a reminder that space is hard. Reusable space is harder. And teaching a rocket to land itself after yeeting something into orbit is the engineering equivalent of juggling chainsaws while skydiving. Land space will fix the issue. They'll fly again. Eventually, rocket landings will become so routine we'll stop filming them. But right now, in December 2025, humanity is still in expensive fireworks phase of space reusability. And honestly, that's the most human thing about space exploration. We fail spectacularly, learn aggressively, and try again. That's all for today's video. I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care.